over the Rhine neighborhood in Cincinnati, Ohio is a vibrant and lively area full of historic character and beautiful architecture. Over the Rhine is one of the oldest areas in Cincinnati, having been settled in the 1830s by German immigrants who built the neighborhood to emulate the culture they had come from. The area had been gardens and farmland prior to settlement, but it soon turned into a bustling German enclave. Over the Rhine is located just north of downtown Cincinnati in the shadows of the central business district. In fact, it is close enough to walk to the downtown area in just a few minutes. It is home to many businesses, one of which is Rheingeist Brewery that took its name from the neighborhood in which it was established. That is now known as the Over the Rhine neighborhood in Cincinnati, Ohio, was first settled in the 1830s and 40s, as mentioned prior, by immigrants coming over from Germany after failed attempts at starting a revolution. The German immigrants likened crossing the Miami and Erie Canal to crossing the Rhine River in Germany. The neighborhood served as a little Germany to its residents, with aspects of German culture spread throughout including churches, restaurants, and breweries, and many of the residents still spoke German. One of Over the Rhine's most notable features that still exists to this day, the Finley Market, was the center of much of the commercial activity in the neighborhood during the 1850s. This market was bustling with lively interaction, as many people came from other areas of the city to congregate. As beer is a significant aspect of German culture, breweries were a booming industry in over the Rhine in the later half of the 19th century. Around half of the total of Cincinnati's breweries were located in the brewery district of over the Rhine. The fact that many of the brewery owners were German residents of the neighborhood meant that the area's economy was thriving at the time. The citizens of over the Rhine relied on breweries so much that they entrusted them with their money during a financial panic. By the early 20th century, anti-German sentiments resulting from the First and Second World Wars led many German immigrants to assimilate and relocate to more affluent neighborhoods. As the Germans began to leave over the Rhine, so did the vibrant culture of the area. Only to make the German immigrants matters worse, in 1919, prohibition was enacted, making alcohol consumption illegal in the United States. For this reason, most of the breweries in Over the Rhine went out of business, only furthering the decline in the population of the neighborhood. As the German population of over the Rhine began its rapid decline, industry still remained, and the neighborhood still housed other industrial jobs. Many African Americans from the South migrated to over the Rhine to work in the industrial jobs located in the neighborhood. Much of the infrastructure became unkept and disinvested in, and the poor African American residents were left in a worse predicament than when they had come in the first place, already poor and in need of better working and living conditions. By the 1960s and 70s, the construction of Interstates 71 and 75 in surrounding neighborhoods pushed the African American residents from those areas into over the Rhine, further exacerbating the problem. Crime and poverty rose significantly in the later half of the 20th century and there was little investment in the area since the majority of the German population had moved out. On April 7, 2001, white police officer Stephen Roach shot and killed Timothy Thomas, a 19-year-old African-American man, sparking days of civil unrest. The Cincinnati neighborhood of Over the Rhine 
which had once been one of the most vibrant and inviting neighborhoods in America, was then classified as the most dangerous neighborhood in America. The killing of Timothy Thomas by police and the days of civil unrest that followed essentially served as Mayor Charlie Lukens' last straw. Soon after the events unfolded, Mayor Lukin helped to create the Cincinnati Center City Development Corp, or 3CDC, to redevelop the neighborhood and revitalize it to get it back to when it was at its peak. In June of 2002, a comprehensive plan for Over the River was created, with many efforts dedicated to revitalizing the area and preserving its history. However, this process was all about restoring the German heritage of the neighborhood and did not consider the African Americans who then made up the majority of the population. Redevelopment efforts targeted locations like Finley Market and Washington Park, while also investing in many of the old rundown buildings to renovate them for office space or housing. However, much of this housing was not affordable for most of the residents of Over the Rhine, as poverty and unemployment were both over 50%. As a result of the shortage of affordable housing in Over the Rhine, thanks to renewal efforts, residents of the neighborhood pushed back. Buildings and infrastructure were renovated and revitalized, but the finished product was very exclusive. Members of the community were not able to afford or access much of the new and improved infrastructure. People were fed up that change was going on in their community. They were not a part of it. On one side of the picture, you have a vibrant, lively, and inviting community, a neighborhood bustling with activity and life, research the strength it once achieved in its heyday. This is a completely different picture on the other side, a community still facing the same challenges as before renewal, simply pushed to the side and forgotten barred from their own community through the pitfalls of gentrification. The legacies of gentrification are seen in cities throughout the U.S., and the Over the Rhine neighborhood in Cincinnati is no exception. Poor African-American residents are still fighting the effects of gentrification today, while middle to upper class white folks are reaping the benefits of urban renewal.